I felt like it was crazy, you know, I'm, I'm 23, I'm a single woman um, who was like, let's get a camper, let's go, and, and it's definitely intimidating and a little bit, you know, people think I'm nuts. channel so today I'm going to be answering some questions I've received about my camper um, if you don't know I bought a scamp 13 foot travel trailer about two months ago and a lot of people have been asking me questions about it so I figured I'd go ahead just do a Q&A of like the three or four most common questions I've received um, so that everybody has a better idea of what's going on and it's significant it's significantly going to be changing uh, the content on this channel and I'm really excited about that. There's a lot of cool travel things coming up. Okay, so the first question is why a camper? Um, I kind of have to backtrack a little bit on that question. So basically I started this YouTube channel when I moved to Ireland when I was 19 years old. So that at this point is four years ago, over four years ago almost. Um, and I really got obsessed with traveling and traveling a lot. Um, so after I came back from Ireland, I then went on a lot of large summer trips for the uh, end of my college experience. And then I graduated from college and now I'm a full-time adult, I'm a teacher. And so I was kind of getting more and more worried about how I would continue to travel as much once I had a full-time job. And then I went ahead and got a dog, which was another thing I really wanted to do. And I was like, well, crap like now I can't travel at all because I have a dog and a full-time job and it just didn't really I was I was really getting concerned and, and starting to brainstorm a lot about what solutions I could think of to continue traveling but also take care of my job but also work with my uh, teaching schedule and so I started actually doing a lot of research on YouTube and found people who are in very similar situations that were starting to live out of uh, converted uh, vans or out of converted buses or we're using travel trailers or RVs um, and we're really able to maximize their comfort and their traveling um, and they could do a lot of, of travel in the United States and so even though I have been focusing most of my traveling in Europe over the last three or four years um, I realized there's a lot of places in the US and in Canada that I had not seen and so figured over you know, the next couple years in the near future, I will just start focusing on places in the United States and in Canada that I want to see. So once I once I became okay with that transition and I got a dog, I realized that I could use my current vehicle as a tow vehicle for a travel trailer and then began looking for different trailers that were the right size, um, that had everything I was looking for, and that I could tow with that vehicle. And so um, that kind of leads me to the second question, which was why a scamp? So the trailer I got is a 13 foot scamp travel trailer. They're made in Bacchus, Minnesota, and I bought it used. Um, my trailer is from 2014, so it's actually only a couple of years old. Um, and it's in really nice condition. Um, I will be doing tours and stuff um, and some of the modifications I've done. I'll sh show you guys all of that stuff. But um, basically, the vehicle I drive only has a tow capacity of around 2,000 pounds, and so when you start looking at travel trailers, you realize that the options you can have with um, that tow capacity are just really small. It sort of limits you to um, fiberglass egg campers. <laughs> There's a couple other kind of campers that can uh, be low enough weight but a lot of the campers that you're going to get are all pretty short so like 13 to 16 feet and a lot of them are made out of fiberglass just because it's lightweight and it's durable and so I really got into um, sort of a niche of what's called egg campers so scamps, casitas, bowlers, burrows, there's all of these like fiberglass campers and they're sort of in their own genre. 
And so I started looking a lot at those. I looked at a couple other kinds of campers, but was really getting focused and narrowing more down on scamps and casitas because they have really good, they hold their value really well and people are just obsessed with these things. I just got on to, um, was watching like different videos that people were making and reading different posts and I got onto these different Facebook groups and like literally people were obsessed. They just loved them so much and so really began narrowing my search down to 13 foot casitas and scamps and then anything that was really, really similar to those um, and started really focusing my search on those. Now the problem is it's a pretty competitive market if you're trying to buy a scamp or a casita. People love them, people hold on to them. And so I had probably two like actual, like one deal that fell through. I had three-ish more that I inquired about and they were either sold or it just didn't work out. And so after looking pretty seriously for about six months, I just, I kept coming up short and was getting very frustrated because so many people are looking for these. And um, even on the Facebook groups that I'm on, it's still a problem for so many people. They're looking for these trailers. They want these trailers in their heart to find. I got extremely lucky. Um, a couple who had my, my current trailer um, contacted me through Facebook before they posted it because um, they could see that I was looking for a specific kind of trailer and it was what they had. And so I ended up um, sort of working out a deal directly with the sellers. So that was so nice. The best way I could have done that. It was very easy. And I ended up having to drive about 10 hours to pick up my trailer and then 10 hours back and my dad went with me. Um, but that is how a lot of these things end up selling just because they're so sought after. People love them so much. Um, and actually the only reason why I got that trailer was because the couple was buying another scamp. So um, just the dedication and commitment to these different companies is like awesome. And um, I was just so thrilled to get it. So that's why I ended up getting a scamp. Um, like I said, there are some other trailers that are very similar, but that's what I really wanted. And that's what ended up sort of popping in my lap. So that's what I ended up getting. Like I said, I have a 13 foot scamp travel trailer. It's from 2014. It is standard model, it's not deluxe, and it has the front bunks as opposed to a bathroom. So I do not have a bathroom in my scamp. I will probably get a camping shower and then, if necessary, some sort of portable toilet. But that's not something I currently worry about because when I'm at RV parks, I just don't need it. So I do not have a black tank that I have to worry about at all. I do not need to worry about any of that and it's really nice, especially because it's so small. Um, so yeah, that's that. If you have more questions about why I got this camp or sort of why I decided to get a travel trailer, please ask them down below. I'm happy to answer them. Um, I just don't want this video to be forever. Uh, next, what have I done to it? So I have done some modifications already. Um, the couple that I bought it from kept it in pristine condition. They also kept it almost exactly how they got it from the factory. So it looked brand new when I received it. Um, I'm a person that's really into like sewing and decorating. And so I did go ahead and I um, covered the cabinets. I replaced the flooring. I have some more decorations in it that they had. Um, I like covered the couch. I added bedding. I added pillows. I will be changing the curtains. Um, just a lot of like aesthetic things that I changed. Um, I have not changed anything structurally at all. I did add some shelves in the closet, but those can be changed. And so um, I have made modifications just to make it more comfortable for me because I do care a lot about what it looks like, especially if I'm going to be living in it for long stretches of time during the summer. So that's what I've been working on. And I will be posting a video like a before and after in the next couple weeks uh, so that you can see the modifications I've made. And I also plan to make blog posts about some of those modifications for people that are wondering. So scamps and other sort of egg fiberglass molded trailers are just notorious for modifications. People do so many cool things. And a lot of the trailers, the vintage trailers from like the 60s, 70s, and 80s are still on the road because people have maintained them so well or just completely rebuilt them. And so um, it's really cool and there are a ton of ideas. I have not done nearly as many modifications as a lot of people in this community have done. So it's really cool, but I will happily show you guys my modifications later on. 
Um, the last thing is what are my plans? So like I said, I am a uh, high school teacher. I work about nine months a year, and so I do have typical teacher breaks. I have almost like two and a half months, I think, during the summer. I have um, a holiday break in December. I have spring break, and I have a fall break. And so um, I plan to travel most of my summer breaks because that is what I had done previously. So over the last couple summers, I've traveled – uh, about seven weeks total last summer between college and like graduating from college and starting my job and then the summer before I traveled for about eight weeks and so I'm really love being on the road those were mainly in Europe um and some here and so I am just thrilled to be able to go on long trips in my car with my miniature poodle Jerry um and do a lot of hiking and camping so yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing is hitting the road. I will not be gone for the entire summer. I have a variety of things that I need to be back in on the area that I live. So it's going to be like some here, some there. But overall, I plan on living out of it for a lot of the summer. And so that's why I'm making it super comfortable and workable for me. Um, I do also enjoy going on some weekend trips, so if we ever get nicer weather in Kansas, because currently it's really crappy, but if we ever get nicer weather, then I plan to do some weekend trips, and then maybe during my, um, shorter breaks, go places as well. So it's, it's really nice, and I'm so glad that I can do this, because I do have a dog, and he's very attached to me, and I do not want to leave him for weeks at a time, that's just not fair for anybody so I'm really glad that he can go with me and he really does like the camper I think he's getting very used to it um I also have friends that can come with me and it can comfortably hold I would say like three adults maybe and a dog so um there's definitely going to be different trips where I have friends with me family with me things like that but I have a lot of exciting trips coming up that I sort of am planning on and, and prepping for um, and plan to make videos that are scamp related and travel related. So if you are excited and if you like uh, watching videos on my channel, then you are going to be very pleased at the stuff that I have coming up. But like I said, any questions or comments you have, please ask them below. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or if you're planning on getting a camper, let me know. I'm so excited for people that are thinking of doing this. Um, I. I felt like it was crazy, you know, I'm, I'm 23, I'm a single woman um, who was like, let's get a camper, let's go, and, and it's definitely intimidating and a little bit, you know, people think I'm nuts, but I'm so excited about it, and I, it's just been a really great experience so far, so I just can't see, or I can't wait to see um, what happens with the camper down the line, but thanks for watching, have an awesome day, evening, week, weekend, whatever. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.